when we talk about development, we must see that there are different aspects of development. That is, people may have different idea, notion for development. That is, a girl living in an urban area will have a different idea about development to a girl who is living in a remote area in Rajasthan. Maybe for her, abundance of water is development. For a girl living in urban area, maybe the jets are development. So, the development varies from person to person depending on the financial background, depending on the area where they are dwelling, depending upon the education or the mental ability of the person, depending upon how you think that development is all about. So, there are various aspects of development for various people. Now, when we talk of per capita income as the deciding factor for economic development, we need to understand that there are limitations of the per capita income. You see, when the per capita income rises in the country, it need not necessarily be due to the rise in the physical output of the country. It could be due to the rise in prices. When the price rises, then what happens? The government has to increase the income of the people. But this increase in income does not ensure, this per capita income does not ensure that there is true development. Now, the per capita income when it rises, it does not mean that there is proper distribution of income. For example, supposing 1000 rupees is the per capita income of a country. It does not mean that everybody is getting 1000 rupees. It is there are people who are earning 2 lakh rupees a month and there are people who are earning as meager as 20 rupees a month. But that is the per capita income because per capita income is when you actually divide the total income by the population of the country. Therefore, the true picture never comes forward. There are Tatas and Birlas living in the country and there is a poor farmer who does not get even a proper two times meal. So, how can you ensure that the per capita income is the real factor for measuring the development of the country? Now, the modern use of technology which is giving rise to the per capita income that is when the development is going on in the production rate. It will ensure the rise in per capita income. But do you understand that the use of modern technology is displacing the labor force? So, how can you say that the per capita income is increasing? Now, commodity sometimes has more economic welfare than the price it has. For example, when I talk of needle, thread or I talk of salt, then the price which is there of these commodities is very less compared to the economic welfare that these commodities can ensure or the requirement that is there of these commodities.